everybody. We're back. Super special guest today, Mr. Mike Hall from Spectrum Analytic. This is a big deal. Now, I have now known this guy for probably about four years. That's about right. right. About yeah, right. something like that. We, we, we kind of tend to hit the trade show circuit together and come around. But for a lot of you guys out there uh, that I was having soil sample conversations with and uh, doing soil tests and reviewing, Spectrum Analytic. So here you go. That's it. Are we done? No, we're not done yet. Mike, how long have you been doing this? I've been involved with the lab for the last 25 years. There's two of us are major owners of the lab. We're an employee-owned lab. We're the oldest continuously operating lab in the country. It started in 1963, uh, commercial-wise, that is. Mm -hmm. Universities had longer tenures. But anyways, uh, we do about half a million samples a year. And uh, basically, we do quality control. We participate in two different quality control check programs. So we feel we do the job the way it should be done. Mm -hmm. And uh, we tell people that the reason we do soil sample, it goes back to the late 30s and 40s, the old adage, test, don't guess. That's right. And uh, basically, the reason people soil samples is to know what's in their soil. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot like the human body. You know, we need to know what's going on. And that's why you have tests done on your body, the same way we have tests done on our soil, same the way, reason we test uh, turf and ornamentals to find out what's healthy and what what gets you the best growth because in the green industry the old, the old adage is i want three different things i want green lawn no weeds and better than my neighbor and that's pretty much it that's that really sums up the industry pretty simply so as far as the audience that's out there and and i just wanted everybody out there to to see you know one of the guys behind um the reason that i send people over to spectrum um, and give him a chance to, to sort of voice a little bit about what they do. What do you think? So there's a split of people who are who watch my channel of uh, homeowners who are just trying to, like you said, just dominate their neighbor. And then, you know, a s series of professionals that do have um, recommendations for either. So like a, a professional who's dealing with, say, 2,000 accounts that they have to deal with. What, what's your opinion on sampling as far as what, when, when? What do you think is the best time? Should they do everybody? Should they do a few? Should they get a blueprint? What do you think? Well, basically, uh, you know, I always tell, especially lawn care companies, they should sample all their new clients and know what, they, what they're starting with. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's always best to know because the major thing happening in soil is, is the pH reading. And if you don't have the pH reading correct, all the other elements you try to apply uh, are, are affected by that pH reading. So if you want the optimum things, you need to have the pH in the optimal range. You know, the way you're going to know that is what the pH reading is. That's mm -hmm. why you need to test. Absolutely. That's a great, that's great advice. How about the homeowner guy? What do you think? Same, same thing with the homeowner. He needs to know what's going on. And uh, if he wants to do it yourself, there's nothing wrong with that as long as he does it properly. Uh, so in turn, just like properly applying the fertilizer after they, they've purchased it, the only way to take a soil sample is properly do it. So they need to check with the laboratory they're using to find the proper methods, the proper depth, and the proper way of taking it because, uh, as I tell people, if they don't take the soil sample correctly, I can't give them the results they want, the good results they want. Talk about that for a second. Correct soil sample. Now, we, we've seen this before where my, I was clean samples versus crap samples. I don't know how else to put that, but people who are just taking a scoop of something and throwing it in there and not, it's a roots and all the garbage and litter and everything else. What, how, how do you like to see that? Well, I always tell people, you know, we're sampling the root zone in turf that's three to four inches. You want to exclude the thatch off the top. And, you know, for the homeowner who doesn't have a soil probe, any spade will work. Just take mm -hmm. the, the middle inch off that spade, the three to four inches deep. Now, if they're doing ornamental beds or trees, that's a little different. Mm -hmm. uh, ornamental beds, six to seven inches. Trees, they, uh, you test around the drip line. And I always like to tell people the reason that's basically you take a soil sample six and two thirds inches deep because in an acre, that's a million pounds of soil. Right. Absolutely. Well, there you go. Anything else you want to throw out there about anything? Company, history, how are things going? Where do you guys see yourselves? You don't have to say any of that stuff. No, we're not goal setting here today. Basically, you know, we uh, pride ourselves in our quality. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a lot of check sample things in place, quality control samples, that we feel we can do the best job because, you know, we're unlike a lot of companies, we don't sell anything except our service. That's right. So we have to do our service correctly or, or we'll, we won't be in business very long. But basically, like I said, you know, we have agronomists on staff to answer any technical questions that the lawn care or homeowner may have. And like I said, we just try to make that lawn look the best and the most beautiful one on the cul-de-sac or on the street. That's it, that's all we're after. That's all everybody's after. 
just want a little slice of heaven out there. All right, so I'm going to put uh, in the video, when, when you guys get on here, you'll find all the contact information for Spectrum, uh, where you can you know, get on their website, see how they want the samples to go, what forms. You, do you have a particular one you recommend to homeowners for like a full panel? What's that one called? So we can just say, does it have a name? Uh, we have what we call a T1, T2, and T3. A T1 is a basic test, which most people use because they're just trying to get a, get a start. Sure. Uh, the T2 includes four micros. The T3 includes all six micros plus soluble salts and nitrates. And most people who use that are looking because they have a problem mm -hmm. or because they really want to have an estate that's better than everybody else's. I'm going to tell everybody to do the T3 just because I'd rather see the whole, let's get the whole roadmap out there and get a look at it. Especially if you're going to be sending them back to me, I want the whole picture. All right. It's all going to be about the T3. Okay, that's it. All right, this is a pleasure. Thank you, John. Sir. I guess anytime so. you have questions, you get a hold of John or get a hold of me, we'll give you the best answer we can give you with the information we have. That's it. Yeah, we can make stuff up on the spot as good as anybody. I don't know about that part. <laughs> all right. Thank See you guys. We'll talk to you later.